guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We are super excited tonight because tonight we have a legit thrift haul for the first time in what, like six weeks, seven weeks? Yeah, it, the, our usual honey hole thrift stores closed like early March and we've been having withdrawals since. Yeah, I almost cried in Savers, like legit almost cried. I was going down the aisle and this lady kind of like hit me with her cart, not hard. She's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's okay. I'm not watching where I'm going. I'm so happy to be here. I could cry. And she looked at me and she said, can I cry with you? I'm so excited to be at the thrift store. And Zeb was like, had his own cart and I had my own cart and it took us three carts to get out of there. We were down the first aisle. She had like three things. She's like, we're going to need another cart. Go get another cart. Yeah, you know, and it was like a thrift store we don't normally go to, but because there's a limited amount that are open, like our main thrift store isn't available. They're overloaded. And, they and good news, bad news. Good news, they were open. Bad news, they weren't still taking donations, so ours were still in the back of the truck. We had a bunch of clothes and stuff that the kids had gone through because we did some spring cleaning too. Yeah. And they're still in the truck. Yeah, so we're gonna go through. If you're new to this channel, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We tell you what we paid for the junk, what we're gonna sell it for, and what we'll do with it. And we sell it online at jamierayvintagehome.com or we sell it at our shop in Lehigh. So Zeb's gonna get started. I'm gonna make sure, cause I got a new necklace and a new shirt. I need to take it out of inventory, so you go. So I'm gonna show you guys some stuff here. Mostly this is in my way, so I'm gonna get rid of it first. It was $2.99. $2.99. Now Savers is sometimes expensive on the smaller items, but on furniture, I feel like they're cheaper than yeah. DI. Cause I think this would be what, at least five or eight. Oh, probably eight. Yeah. at our regular thrift store so we scored there so i don't this is printed on it's not like hand painted or precious or anything like that we will it's it's got this weird faded look to it i like crisp white american flags so i probably we're probably going to paint over this is it solid wood though because i wasn't sure i think that it, i don't know maybe it's like but wood we, veneer we might distress that back through and it might look really cool to stress back through. i was i wasn't planning on bringing it back like i love yeah, america I but i don't love that color scheme this is like primitive 1995 flag and I, it's not my jam how much are we going to sell it for painted oh at least 20 to 25 dollars 2.99 to paint it stencil it i'm sure it's going to have a stencil on it there you like go. that's crying for if a we stencil. have so much stuff i have a pile over here that I got to bring out. We're going to try to get yeah. to some painting tonight and really hustle through this, but we'll see. And we have three boxes of stuff mailed to us that we're not even going to get to until next week because we had so much good stuff that we thrifted this week that we did not get a chance to go through that whole box. Um, I'm just going to go through and see comments. Everybody's saying hello. Um, 65 degrees is where they said sounds like paradise what how cold is it outside it's getting a little chilly it was right 80 now. it's probably close to 65 now because it still gets down in like the low 50s at night right now even though it's may um yeah, all I'm right probably so gonna have this, to get myself a sweater too this is i don't even know what you'd use this for apparently Jewelry. apparently hair ties and hair we sprayed everything with lysol just so you guys know and then we let it sit outside in the open air for like four hours after we sprayed it with lysol so we're good. Um, I was thinking jewelry and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or not. If I was going to sell it, it'd be at least $22 because it's got this, is this cast iron? Yeah, it's cast iron on the cast bottom. Iron it's base. really heavy and well built. And we paid $6.99. And so if I would sell it, it'd be between $22 ish, but I was thinking I might keep it and put the jewelry, the new jewelry that we sell on the website, oh. put that on there because we have a jewelry bar in the shop of used jewelry, but I'd like to have a separate location for the new items that it's we sell. It's not used, it's vintage. Oh, it's vintage, it's pre-owned? Pre-owned. Oh, sorry. Um, we sell pre-owned jewelry at the shop already, but we have some new jewelry that I'd like to bring is up. Is that the jam? That's the jam. <laughs> I clean all the pre-owned with the You know, alcohol. if you think about it, most everything that we own that's like a large expenditure is pre-owned. Like most homes are pre-owned, a lot of cars are pre-owned. Our home that we bought is very pre-owned. <laughs> yeah, 1917. Mm -hmm. I, I found this in, so much. in the Savers. How much did they charge you for it? So it was in the, uh, it was, no, this was in the Goodwill. So all small home items, they just have everything marked. Like it's $1.99 and then, unless it's like marked individually and then it's more. 
And sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. There's a couple things I would have paid less for, but there's a couple things I would have paid a lot Way more, more for. So, so it averaged out. Yeah, it, it worked out. So I'm not even sure. Let me let me know what you think this is for. Is this for like an incense burner? Why does it have know, the holes in the copper, top? It's copper, right? Yeah, it's copper. Copper and brass. It's got brass handles. To me, it looks like Turkish copper. It looks like a lot like the copper we found when we were thrifting in Paris. I wouldn't sell that for less than probably $20 to $22 because it's really unique. It's copper and brass. It's got great patina. And it looks to me like the Turkish style. Garlic keeper. Sandra oh, says garlic it's a garlic keeper. keeper. Hmm. Nice. Anyway. So now it's a garlic keeper. Um, I would just use it for decor. So maybe you could put some potpourri in it. It's got the good patina on it. I, that's what I know. Yeah, a curry bowl, somebody said. Awesome. Nice. All right, so how much was that, though, at Goodwill? So it was $1.99. And I would sell for about $22. Just clean it up, make sure there's no dust or dirt on it. But I would not get rid of the patina. The patina is money. We're not going to polish it. We're just going to Somebody says some that they dogs. think it's for, oh, super chat from Sally Bunzel. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Thank you, Sally. Happy the Mother's moms, Day to the you. The moms, the aunts, the dog moms, the teachers, anybody who does mothering and nurturing, happy Mother's Day. All right. I passed that up, but I'm glad you picked it up. It's made in Italy, hermetic. Yeah, I love hermetic jars. They sell really well. Usually I pair them together. That was $3.99. I'll probably sell it for like 10 or 12, but I have a few other hermetic jars, so I usually group them together and sell for like 25. Yeah. Because I, when I'm selling online, especially instead of selling like one item, I'll sell a grouping because I it's more of a dollar volume, so it makes it worth my time to list the item. Still has its seal. Some don't. Some seals get broken, but there you can source them online if you don't have the seals. They sell them. And the hermetic, that's the light green, is always really really popular. So. Good find. I didn't realize that was the Hermetic Made in Italy jar. It was up high, so I realized you probably well, didn't. Well, you, you probably, you like, probably didn't saw it. It was eye level. So this was right next to it, and this is a picture, pretty <gasps> plain, but I really love the ring. It, it needs a good scrub. That's not for sale. That's coming to our house. It need, it's needs. it got these rings in there, almost like a measuring cup, and they're just, they're really cool. I love, and it's got that thick glass. It's got the Actually, thick Actually, my, my I like thick glass shirt came in today. Maybe I'll wear it on the next video. This was also right How much was that? Oh, this was $3.99. So I paid a little bit more for some of but these. But that's going to come, that's going over here in the Jamie pile. I'm going to save that for my biscuits and gravy. Because oh, we need we this much it. gravy when we have biscuits and gravy. So this is a fun little picture. I think it had some sort of stopper in the top here because it's got some wear around the lip. Maybe like a, I don't want to, I don't think a cork, but... Anyway, it's it's etched. It doesn't have a maker's mark on it that I can see. It was $4.99. I would but sell me, for about $20. Let me see if you guys etched, can see the etching in there. Etched glass is really popular, and vintage etched glass, even better. It's got a nice thick bottom, and the subject matter, the butterfly. Butterflies are hot right now, so that'll be $19.95 all day long. Yeah, and it's, well, uh, when I saw it, I'm like, even, so it was backwards, and I didn't see the etching. I'm like, man, that's a cool shape bottle. Yeah, the etching makes it picture. even cooler. I love it. It's so pretty. Princess yeah. House is what um, Elizabeth says. It says it's missing a glass stopper. Yeah, I figured it's something on the top because it has some weird wear in the top. There. It looks like mid century. So I don't, I don't normally <laughs> get vases, but I got this one just because I really like the design on it. Did, did you buy me some flowers? I need something to put it in. I didn't buy them. The boys and I cut them. Even better, it didn't cost me any money. Apparently, you didn't look at my Insta stories. <laughs> I'm busy running my own empire. How am I supposed to look at your Insta store? It's right. I know you don't check it. That's why I posted it. <laughs> if you want to follow Zeb on Instagram, look up Raywire. R A Y builds. Wire Builds. Ray, Raywire Builds. Hold on, let's do it right. What is it's it? It's at Raywire underscore Builds. Oh, at Raywire. You know what I like about that one is that it's got that chevron design. That's kind of yeah. Fun. Well, it's big, and I have to fit a lot of flowers in there because right, so that's going in my pile. Yeah. Also, it's made in China, so I'm not saying it's like high dollar, but $3.99 is cheaper than Either the Either that or we could put it in the flowers in your new gravy pitcher. Oh, that'd be cute, but I gotta put gravy in the so gravy So this was $2.49. This is a Jamie pick. So I thought that looked like vintage glass, but here's the thing. I don't know if it's actually old, but the, the glass has a little bit of a blue hue to it. What are you doing? Your light is killing everything in there. But it camera. makes me look good. You look great. You don't need the light. All right, so I like that because it has oh, it mint and gold. Did I you steal a light from up there? 
Um, maybe you did. Remember we had to add more lights to the store? All right, put it back on us. I told you it was dark. It's just glaring on all the glass stuff. I'll just do it this way. How about that? So it's not quite yeah, on Just put it right on yourself. I just Jenny's put it on me. Boom. <laughs> all right. So fun little glass. How much did we pay for that one? Uh, two forty nine on this one. Donna says she got her mini green sack stencil in yesterday and she used it today. Those mini green sack stencils are money. Um, that little jar will sell for about nine ninety five. I, maybe it's worth more, I don't know, but it looks like mid-century to me, and it's got that mint and gold vibe, which is always hot. Okay. Oh, you paid a lot of money for this one. I did not realize. Oh. I thought this tote was $4.99. No, it The was Savers not. took me. You know what? It's okay, because we'll show them uh, something we bought later at Savers that we totally made up the difference. This was actually $14.99, and I did not catch that. I thought it was four ninety nine. Just we're you know, gonna go we were having a frenzy. We were like doing like this, just grabbing stuff and throwing it in the cart. We're gonna go broke one tote at a time. So he paid fourteen ninety nine. He should have paid four ninety nine, but we made up for it on another. We'll item. probably and sell it for about, about twenty five. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna make much on this one, but you know, we have something else that the lady it wasn't priced, and so the lady came up and she's we'll like, "We'll split the go. difference between this and that other piece that we got super cheap." Oh yeah, and it'll be fine. Yeah. So then we'll say this only costs like nine ninety nine. It is a that. fun shape with and a curtain heavy. rod hanger. Yeah, it's it's like this is three quarter inch furniture grade plywood. Yeah, sanded, it's not and it's not is, chippy. Yeah, and this is half inch. And what I will do is I'll put like a cool stencil on the side and I'll sell it for about. This 24. might even be seven sixteenths. It's, it's really well made. Thing. It's a good shop project. Yep, someone did good building this one. Oh, um, Jen says, love that farmhouse video. Question, will the antique windows be energy efficient when Zeb's done with them? So, I did some research. If you work for a window company, close your ears. They want you to replace all your windows, but most of your energy loss in windows is due to drafts and cold spots. So, if you take windows and you silicone them in and you make sure that there's no drafty areas around them and you make sure all the seals are brand new. All the glazing is all redone. All the glazing is redone. You can actually make old windows pretty energy efficient. Now, are they as energy efficient as brand new windows? Probably not. But the loss and the cost of new windows versus old windows kind of washes out. Plus, so, I like them. So we're finding windows for like $25, $50. We have a window that we replaced in the kitchen that we're like, we're gonna get a wood one and buy it new. It was 800. Yeah, 800. $800. $800. Like by the time we pay that much difference times X amount of windows in the house, we, we might as well have bought a whole and new you can, AC. You can do the Google, so you don't just have to take my word for it, but Google how to make antique windows more energy efficient and there's good information out there. All right, moving on. I, I passed this was, on this. I thought this was cool. And I've Jamie never seen got that. it. She's like, look at that thing. <laughs> so how so how much did we pay for? I think it was like this, it was, this was in the dollar ninety nine wood section. Okay, so dollar ninety nine. I would normally have paid upwards of five to eight dollars for it because it's got five different candlesticks. Yeah. And I think that's probably gonna be about the twenty to twenty four dollar range when it's all finished. And it'll get a really great paint job with some white wax on it and it's gonna look farmhouse sheep the little blue and it's actually beautiful that they want this piece oh if you want anything that we're selling you need to email info at jamierayvintagehome.com so info at jamierayvintagehome.com and then caitlin will give you shipping information and if you want anything not painted you need to say please don't paint it that's always good to put in there but i think it's actually beautiful the wood as is if you need some more wood tones i'd leave it so I'm not sure what this is. It's like Caitlin, a, if you're on here, will you drop your email in the comments? It's like a bird bath slash soap holder. You put this next to the tub on the floor to hold your soaps. I don't. My my French soap wouldn't fit there because it's big. I, it's kind of wonky. Yeah. So this is a Jamie pick. The bottom is cast iron. This is tin. It'll be beautiful painted. It's got like this yellow brown poops color going I think, on. I think it is for candlesticks. Like you put a candle in the top of this and it just holds it. It's just a little more dished out than normal. Or it'd be cute to put like a little bird or a moss ball. Oh yeah, like a big topiary mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Is I'm that what they're the called? moss ball. Oh, okay. They're kind of spendy. If you buy them so new. this was in the $1.99 metal section. And I'll sell it for probably 15 or 
$16. We're having to learn a new way to thrift because our normal thrift store prices everything individually and the Goodwill and the Savers, they just have shelves and they're like, unless it's otherwise no, marked, Savers, this. Savers has prices. Goodwill has like everything wood is this price, everything metal is this price unless it's marked. And I think it's because they don't want to touch it. <laughs> then you just like show it to them through the plexiglass and they're like $1.99 and then they don't have to touch it. All right, so these were all $1.99. We got all these wooden bowls. They'll probably sell for about $8.95 each painted. We paint them up super cute. We usually use like apothecary or farm brush. And then guess what? Because all wood's $1.95, the big mama jamma also $1.95. So I would have normally paid about 75 cents to a dollar for these ones. So they were about a dollar more than I would have normally paid. But then we made the savings up right here. And that'll sell for $19.95 painted. I actually am going to, um, my neighbor Desiree wanted a farm fresh bowl that I had. So I'm going to give her first pick on that before I put it up for sale. Because she really wanted a bowl I had listed on the website and she didn't get it fast enough. So this is going in my pile because i got to ask Desiree if she wants Will it. the new French soap fit in a covered glass butter dish? The answer is no. They're big. It depends on how big your butter dish is. And we have one coming up that I bet it would fit in. Um, maybe not. We're going to test it. We'll, we'll go, test it. We, I'll go get some soap and you show we'll go, them the Oh, go get the though. glass butter dish that's by the soap because that's an average size one. This is average size too. The dish is oh, this big. I guess it did. Look at this. Okay, so this was also $1.99. It's made in India. It's pewter, you guys. It's pewter for $1.99. It's awesome. Um, the wooden bowls are made oh, handcrafted. The stickers are like all... It's in English, I can tell that it said handcrafted. So I'm guessing USA because it's English. So somewhere that speaks English. But um, this, I would say $20 for this pewter butter dish. It's really cool. I mean, if your kids drop, it's not gonna break. That's what I'm always thinking about. You could cut the soap. You could cut um, the soap. Oh, hey, Les is on here. Hey, my friend. You could cut the soap, but then you All lose right. the cool. That's the small butter dish. Where's the this one that says a... butter? Oh, I'll go get it. No, I know where it's I know it. Look at that. This is to fit a regular size stick of butter. It's just not going to work out. Let's see if it fits. This one does look a little larger. It's domed a little more with the fleur de lis on it. Still no. <clears throat> it still is a little tall. I mean, you can't tell because this has such a deep bowl on here, but it's it's about half an inch too short. So this butter dish is $16.95 on the website. It's not actually old, but it's cool. It looks a lot like a French one I found that said burr. And I almost guarantee that a soap bar will fit in it. I don't think they can see down there. <sighs> oh, a soap bar does what? fit in that. Look at that. Man, we're almost out of this peony scent. It's, I know. It's like we have flying. like a few left. <laughs> People were buying it left and right today out of the shop for Mother's Day. Can I just tell you, we were spraying the Lysol and the disinfectant all day. There were people in the shop and it was so great. This lady wanted to buy a piece of furniture that I used to display my oil wax and milk paint samples. And my employee was like, oh, it's just for display. And I was like, look, you want to buy it? I'm going to sell it to you. Like, I'm so happy to have people in my store wanting to buy things. I will sell you whatever you want. And she was super excited. And I was excited because now Zeb gets to build me something. Now I get to build you what you actually want. Because I wanted something built and then I just put that there. And it's been there for months. But now it's sold. So we're out of luck. <laughs> she was super excited. I like to make customers happy. Okay. It's kind of my jam. We got the uh, $4.99 Goodwill special here. $4.99. This was one of the things they priced. $25. Bucks. If you look up lanterns, they sell fast and they're expensive. And this one has the punched tin. Is that what that is? Yeah. And then it's got glass. Oh, Harrington's here. Why is what Harrington what he here? Needs? I don't know. Um, so, and it's got a good latch. It's got this very classy Valentine's Day ribbon. I'm going to get rid of that right now. Yeah, right now. So I would say that this is cute as is, but I think it needs a paint job. At least, 
I want to paint this. So I can unscrew the top pretty easily. It's just got Phillips screws on it. Take out the glass and then you can do what you want with yeah, it. Yeah, I think I would paint the top to make it less shiny. Oh, okay. And then I, I don't mind this finish. Maybe just some white wax on this part. But fun, fun lantern. Anna says, I sold something off my wall when a customer came to pick up an item. <laughs> Normally, if, it, if I really don't want to sell it, I won't. But she was so excited and loved it so much. I was like, I can't, I can't not sell it to her. So I did. Les gonna... says, I need a container for my new soap. Next time you buy, if you buy soap and you need a container that'll fit in it, but there goes Harrington. He came and he left. I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he didn't know we were here and he's like, oh, um, there. <laughs> <laughs> the butter dish, the, the big butter dish, we have a petite and then a big, the big butter dish on our website will fit it. So Zeb found these. They're very like, I see like African safari. I'll show you up close in a second, but look how big the these bottom. are. 32 is 32 inches and 24 inches. Yep. Those are big. So, oh, Les says she thinks she needs a butter dish that won't break. I get that. That's warrantable. All right. We actually have a ceramic one that we've had forever and it hasn't broken. So these are wood. I thought initially they might have been cast. I didn't look at them super close, but. How much were they? It was like six. $5.99 and $4.99. Yep. Zeb told, because this wasn't priced, and Zeb's like, well, how about $6.99? And she's like, $5.99. Yeah, she's like, $6.99 is too much. And this is like $30 <laughs> at least, because it's 36 inches tall. And then this other one is probably in the $25 range, so about $55 for the set. And this one was, was it $4.99 you said? Yep. This so. one comes complete with wax drippings. Janine, she's, she's from Jamie's school. She says, you can knock someone out with those. Also a weapon in case someone breaks into your house. So these are probably going to get a fun paint job. They look pretty cool, but they're not very farmhousey or French country, which is what our style leans towards. Oh, uh, Caitlin put the em email in here, um, the little blue fly, but it is info at jamierayvintagehome.com. So if you just add info at to this, that's our email. If you want to shop our home decor website, this is the home decor website. I made that. I'm missing one of these. Where's my other one? I don't know. Is it in the back oh, of the truck I still? I rolled under the truck. I got to go get it so we can show the complete set because the paint job on there. What is am excellent. I supposed to do while you're gone? Show them those. They okay. Were, Zeb's so going to go get the third one. They were each because they were in those dollar ninety nine. You think they're wood? I think they're. No, they're wood. They're wood. So they were dollar ninety nine each. They're a set of three. This paint job is also primitive nineteen ninety five. It goes with that American flag stool. Um, we will repaint them, and these are going to be awesome. Like it's just a really beautiful, um, beautiful look, and I love all the turns. I feel like because they gave it this like lots of paint color finish, you lose all the turn detail. But if you paint this one solid color and then add either a dark or a white wax, all those beautiful curves will shine. So Zeb's going to get the other one. I'm gonna put this over here. We'll show you something else while Zeb's gone. This was a Zeb pick. I don't know if he's gonna sell it because he doesn't like to get rid of his toolboxes. It's actually not that old, $3.99. And I think it would actually be really great storage for paint brushes because it's like long and skinny. And if we were to sell this, I would definitely take off this interesting Roscoe sticker because I don't like it. And I would sell it for about $15 to $20. It's a nice little box. All right, let's see what people are saying. Oh, Heidi says, reminds her of a spindle. Oh, Rustic Hippo says, their Goodwill would sell these for $14 to $12.99. You know what? This Goodwill that we went to, we normally don't go there because they are expensive. But I think since they've gone to flat rate pricing, you can get better deals. I don't know where it's and at. maybe it's because they're so busy turning over stuff they just don't have time to price it so they're like okay all wood this all metal this it it really winds up being a good deal i showed him this i said 15 to 20 and we take off this sticker yeah we'll get rid of the roscoe it doesn't have a drawer are you selling so you're gonna keep it no i have i have like 20 of these now oh, okay. so <laughs> i thought it would be good for paint brushes so what i want to do when we move into the new house is i'm going to organize the garage up real good and build shelves before we ever unload all the tools and so so wait a second you're telling me like all the list of things i want has to wait for later but before we move your tools in you're going to build out the garage yeah so it's basically like finishing off a bathroom for me <laughs> we're going to negotiate the garage build out so i might start collecting i have about six or seven tool so boxes donna like said this. that she put her paint brushes in a toolbox just like that today nice. we had the same idea 
It's like our brains are linked, Donna. That's perfect. All right, Kelly says my shirt's adorable. Thank you. It's new on the website. So I'm gonna organize a shelf full of these that just have like all the little doodads in them and label them. So I maybe think. we should keep that. Do you wanna put that on the jam pile? No, it's fine, I'll get more. This oh. one's a little shallower. I like the ones with the drawers. Uh, what are the plastic containers you put your milk paint in? in there? Um, they're just plastic cups from Home Depot. So if you just look up plastic cup, measuring cup in Home Depot's website, I bet you could find it. So this was $4.99. Why is that sideways? Someone put it sideways. If you need a shelf with a sideways hook for whatever reason, we've got you. I think we're probably going to flip it the right direction. I will take the hooks off because there's nothing wrong with them. Give it a paint job, maybe some fun transfers or the vine stencil would be cute. And then we'll sell it for $25. The cool thing about this, and if you find something and you don't necessarily like the wood piece, always check for the hooks because these hooks by themselves would be probably about five or six dollars each hook. And we bought yeah, the entire thing big. for $4.99. Yeah, if there's something with hooks, I buy it even if I don't like the wood. But I love the wood on this. It's hardwood. It's got the beautiful knot in there. It's got a lot of fun things. It's... Oh, thanks, Heidi, for the super chap. Happy mother chap. Super chat. Happy Mother's Day to you too. Thank you, Heidi. And happy birthday, Elaine. Elaine, do you know that you, that's my middle name? I'm it Jamie is. Elaine. Jamie Elaine. Happy birthday, Elaine. So this is Naughty Alder. That's what we're looking that's at Naughty here. Naughty Alder. Jamie Love was it. making fun of me. She's like, what kind of wood is that? And I smelled it the other day and told her. And she's like, why are you smelling the wood? <laughs> Crescent, Donna from Crescent Moon Cottage said, stop um, ordering so much cute clothes. I'm sorry. I'm, I just have, and not only do I have what I loaded today on the website, I have like a dozen more things that are going to be loaded Monday. The good news is it's free shipping, so you don't have to wait. You can just order and then order later, and you don't have to worry about combining shipping. And Donna's all cute because she got all cutesy, so she's buying cute stuff. Okay, so this right. is a small little, I would just call this Nick a... Nick Offerman can identify wood blindfolded. Really? Well, Nick, we Nick, Nick is cool. I really like Nick. Yeah. I mean, he's funny, but then I really like the show, uh, what is it, Make Make something? The Maker's Show? The competition one? Yeah, I can't remember the name making of the show. It? Making yeah, it. Making It. That's the I really love the show Making It. And man, if you've ever seen his shop tour, he, that guy's a woodworker. It is ridiculous. These candlesticks, once paid, it will probably be about like 18 and 14. And did you find the other one? I did not. Okay. It's well, got to be here somewhere. There's a I third one. It. So probably I'll wind up painting all three to match and then they'll sell them as a set because that's easier. I know it didn't uh, get left. How in should the, I pay for that? Uh, this was in the $1.99 and man, it's got a jibbled up handle over it there. It is a little bit rustic. I actually don't hate the paint job. I love the wear on the handles and it's probably not that old, but somebody left it outside. So they got all worn. It's a planter. So it probably yeah. had plants in it. So I'll probably just clean it up and either plant it or put it outside in the front. We have this front area where we have a bunch of outdoor rustic stuff, so I'll probably just throw that out there with it. Yep. Oh, Lucy says she loves that show, and Brianna agrees with me. She loves the handles. I didn't look at the fact that one was a little bit broken. I just like the handles. This next thing might Leslie, be... Leslie, what channel is that making it show on? We don't have regular TV. We watch it on Hulu. Is it uh, NBC? No, it's on... ABC? It's on the same one as... Uh, it's. Now I can't remember the name of the other show. You're going to have to Google it. <laughs> I, it'll come to me. I'll think of it, but I was excited about HGTV. showing you this. Oh, yes. It's on True TV, I think. No, it's not Maybe on not. True TV. It's on like one of the major networks. Maybe it is. It's Tina Fey and Nick Offerman. Yeah, and they're great. Hi from Evan. Hi, Evan. All right, so I paid $9.95 for this big brass pitcher. It actually had floral arrangement because there's floral foam in the bottom. And I will probably just clean it up and leave it as is and sell it for about $30. It's got some good patina on it. If you put your hand in there to clean the floral mess that's in the bottom, careful, because this lip is a little sharpish. Oh, well, hold on. I'll just put water in it. Although I think it has a hole in the bottom. The, the, I can see daylight. Don't no, actually use this as a no picture. There's no hole in the bottom. There is, it's right over on that side. Oh, there's a pinhole over there. Nope, that's something sparkly. Like glitter? Yeah. Okay. Anyways, $29.95 for the giant brass pitcher. I will just clean it up, put water in the bottom. That usually helps get the floral foam out. It's got and, a little patina up here. Yeah. It would be cool painted, but I think brass is really making a comeback, especially if it's got patina, so I don't want to paint it. And you know what I love is this part here. How they oh, attach yeah. the top to the bottom. The rolled the, weld. Is it the welding? Yeah. And then show them the welding like on the handle part. 
Like that's how you know it's a little bit older just because of the way that it's constructed. And I thought that was really cool. And it's got a little bit of a dent because I dropped it out of the um, cart. Oh, really? Yeah, well, it's a little bit dent, dent there too. Oh, yeah, it's got its own It's dent. okay, it's part of its story. It's part of its story. Maybe it the, is on NBC. There you go. Uh, that's not what I said, NBC? Uh, you said one of the major networks. Yeah, I think it, I think I said NBC. I don't remember. Uh, what's anymore. that show on True TV that I'm thinking of then? True TV? I don't even it's, remember watching True TV. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong network. I think I think you are. But that's okay. All right. We need to, we, we got to keep rolling. We got so much. Basket time. time. All right. So the picture is cool, Janine says. All right, so this was three ninety nine for the basket. It's got a wire frame around the top here, so it really holds its shape. I like it because these are perfect for coffee tables for a conversation basket. Sometimes you can put a little arrangement in there or like a really big entry table, but these baskets always add a lot of like earthy texture to an arrangement. Plus you put like books in there. There's a whatever. really good chance because it's got a little bit of damage that it might get like I a whitewash. I, well, I was thinking white wax, but I don't l mind a little bit of p p basket patina, you know, you can show them. Or, you know what you can do, what I've done to fix these up, is use dark and decrepit. Oh yeah, dark and decrepit Just a coat of dark and decrepit on the outside and it'll fix all of the little issues. But I like them because it's just a little basket distress. So how much did you say on this? What? Oh, um, like eighteen ninety five. Got it. Yeah. I love, I love You could baskets. get that, and then you could go picnicking. It's missing its strap. This is definitely getting painted. Because this has already been painted brown. It used to be gold at some point, because I can see it yeah, chipping through. Yeah, there's gold coming through. And around. somebody was like, hey, I'll spray paint that brown. But it's wood on the inside. It's woven wicker on the outside. Painted, it, it will look way cute. I don't love the brass handles on this for whatever reason, but painted, I think it'll be good. Someone just got their order of milk paint. Oh, Andrea. Working on getting the right way to mix it. Oh, if you use an immersion blender, those are the best. You can pick them up at a thrift store or the Amazon or your local like Walmart department store. If you store. don't have one of those, it's worth sacrificing a whisk to do that. I mean, you can pick up a cheap whisk. Or a whisk blender ball. Like, oh yeah. That's also good for milk paint. A whisk, a whisk Somebody works was asking best. if you could wax wicker. Absolutely. Yeah. I've waxed wicker all the time. Now, wax now, outside. Now, I don't put it outside, but if it's inside, you could wax wicker. Uh, Susan says, just got here. Are our thrift stores open? Some of them are, and some of them are not. So, Savers and Goodwill are open. They're wearing masks. They've got the, the shields up. They're sanitizing carts. They're spraying stuff down. So... They're Oil really Scott, good. he's probably a 75-year-old guy. He was like, here's your cart. I just sanitized it. He was wiping those carts like crazy. He's like spraying it down, wiping the handles. And he had his visor on, and he had his like a name tag, like my name is Scott on his visor. I love it. Scott that. was hot. I but not it. like hot, like good looking. He was just awesome. He was, All right, he was so making it happen. This green color, not my favorite. Um, originally forty dollars at the Hobby Lobby. How much was this at the Savers? This at the Savers was two dollars and ninety nine cents. At our store, it'll probably be like twenty five to thirty once we paint it. I don't know. It's really tall, and I love the filigree detail here on the bottom and the texture. So the nice thing is they already did the chippy texture underneath for us. So all we have to do is give it a better color. I realize that as I'm reading comments scrolling by, people probably think I'm staring at them weird. I'm like leaning in. I'm like, what are you doing over there? Like that? I'm like, hey, do you not? There's comments right here. I'm like, like, do you not like this green color? Or you could wear your glasses. You know why I haven't been wearing my glasses? Did you lose them? I, they have been misplaced. And my <laughs> other glasses, I still have my old ones. I can find those because I put them in the drawer and know right where they're at. The prescription on those is seven years old. <laughs> Why did you tell me? I just ordered you a new pair from Zinni. That's where we got your last pair, isn't it? Yeah, but I got the special, like, anti-scratch and... Uh, I told you not to spend lenses. that much money on them. You were going to lose them. <laughs> Somebody asked, like, a few days ago, like, why weren't you wearing your glasses? They're around somewhere. They're somewhere. Jamie, They're not help. Gone. I have plastic wicker and I want to paint it. What do I need to do so it can be outside but undercover? Just buy plastic spray paint. It works good. I mean, it's not, like, foolproof, but I've used it before. So we were walking out of the thrift store, and these Almost were like in out. the return section. And Jamie was like, "Hey, it was not how the much return are those? section. Somebody just changed their mind as they walked out the door. And they just set it down. Anyway, I love these. Ta -da, bonus. They're Mama like and nesting bucket. square buckets. Yeah, this one was how much? Um, I don't even. 
with the price on here? Four ninety nine. This one is five ninety nine. Well, I will sell wood. these for probably twenty two and eighteen ninety five. They're wood. They're nice and solid wood. I actually wasn't planning on doing anything to them. Like the patina is good. The metal strapping is good. They just need to be scrubbed. They down. do need scrub. There's. But they look kind of handmade. They like look they've like got a little bit of earthy quality. And I love the detail on the top. Like this metal is good. They look like they may have lived like in someone's laundry room or something. Janine says, oh my gosh, they put it back crazy. I know, these are awesome and they're heavy. I love the big round handle on them. They're just, they're just good. And the way this is constructed, it reminds me of like the old galvanized buckets, like the little loop here. I mean, they're not old. Yeah, they literally just, but... they used to just take a piece of like a rod of iron and they put it in there, loop it, bend it, and that was your handle forever. <laughs> they, they definitely look like they're more high end. And I feel like if you bought them at a high end decor store, you'd probably pay like 60 and probably 40, 39 dollars Yeah, probably. This is... Here at the Jamie Ray Vintage, we're talking like, what did I say? Like 20, 40? This is big. This is like bigger than a five gallon bucket. Yeah, these are awesome. They'd be really great to put um, umbrellas in, like an umbrella stand. Yep. Because they're heavy duty enough, they're not gonna like flop over when you put stuff in them. Don't worry, I got more stuff over here. How do I get dried IOD ink, IOD ink off of IOD stamps? Now this is not IOD canon, like they haven't told me you can do this, but I, in the past, have just used um, 409 or a little Clorox bleach cleaner. But make sure you scrub it and don't let it sit up there on there too long. And I've been able to get old ink off. Check out how cool this is. This is, like, I, I don't know, is this brass? I think it's brass or some sort of tin. You can see it peeling up right there. But look at the, look at the good patina in the corner on that mirror. Leslie said, Hope, ask again. I actually answered Hope's question unless she had another one besides the plastic. So if you have another one besides the plastic, Hope, ask again. Um, have you ever been seen at a thrift store? I have a All the time. <laughs> yeah. I actually sometimes like to thrift outside of our normal area when I want to thrift incognito because if we go to the American Fork Desert Industries, we see no less than six people that know us. Sometimes, I mean, they're regulars and I know them, but sometimes they know me and I don't know them. So I always have to be careful and always be in my best behavior. <laughs> so this was $9.99. And the, it's, the, the tin's coming the off tin's a little bit. Off, so I think it's, to... it's either like, I, I think it's tin made to look like brass. Yeah, it's just tin. So I will take and hammer this down or snip that off. But it's got a really cool pattern in it. I don't love the color. So I'll just paint it. Yeah. And we'll sell it for like 30 bucks at the shop. So... It's, it's, I don't know, it's probably about 26, 27 inches wide by about 18 to 20 tall. Oh, so not too shabby size. caddy or the black flower blouse. Those just came in this morning. The last time we had those on the website, they sold out like the first day and I ordered them right away and I've been waiting this whole time. But because of the current situation, a lot of the shippers take longer because they're working in ships. So I was super excited to get those. This is the same brand as the black floral shirt. You guys, it's a clock. Guess what? I, I found it. I didn't thrift it. <laughs> she said no bad words. Did I say bad words? Oh, because I was on my best behavior because people see me at the thrift store. Yeah, I'm getting it she doesn't yeah. say, bad, say words bad words anyway. Well, uh, well not really if bad. she hurts herself, things come out. Like, she does not deal with sudden pain. I feel like it's, it's non-intentional, you know? Like when, or if somebody's going to get hurt, like if one of my kids is going to get hurt or I think, or I see like a car accident, there's just a few select words that describe my feelings at the time and they come out. But <laughs> as a whole, I don't really curse. All right, so we will take this out, paint this outside. It is plastic, but you can use DIY paint and plastic and then we'll put a fun transfer on the inside and then, or stamps. And I love, sometimes Zeb likes to put like big, things like where these pieces are so that way people know what time it is last time i used knob topper stamps but these are a little bigger so we might do like like a big flower or something here because we have stuff like that and then i might do like little knob toppers in now the... do you think we could use iod molds as long as they didn't poke up too much to stop yeah the there's probably it, uh, well, be... if we use the shallow molds we might have to really work yeah. on this Janine and, says mama bell yeah mama bear's mouth will strike if somebody's gonna hurt my babies so the nice thing about this clock, it was $6.99. Usually this is plastic. This is glass on this one. Yeah, it's a, I mean, this part's plastic, but this part's glass. It's really well made and we'll sell it for about $30 to $40, probably closer to $40 because clocks are a little bit more difficult 
with the, the detail and the things we add to them, they take a little bit more time. So probably about 40 bucks for that. I'm trying to see if it's running. It has a battery in it, and I did not anticipate getting a clock today, so I did not have my, my uh, clock normally tester he, battery with me. Normally, Zeb goes to thrift stores with batteries in his pocket because he tests the clocks before we go home. But today he didn't know, so luckily there was one there. Well, today was like, a, do we want to go? Do we not want to go? We were both uh, doing the I sell stuff. IOD. Heck yes, I sell IOD. And not only do I sell IOD, we just got first generation IOD that is on sale 20% off on the website. I forgot to mention that. So if you love IOD, check out jamierayvintage.com because we have the first generation IOD on there. And when it's gone, it's gone. They happen to, I guess, find some in a deep, dark hole and they just put it up for wholesalers to buy. And ours just came in today. All right. I don't know why I bought this. This is what I bought. I bought oh, you this. Bought it was $3.99, um, but you know, it's perfect for like going next to the bathroom. You throw stuff in here. You can put your rings and earrings around here. I'm always thinking about that stuff for you guys. He, Zeb, well, women have purses. Here's the thing. But men have pockets, so they come home and they're like, <sighs> all their stuff. So he's always trying to find something to put it in. It's usually whatever I decorate with. You know what? I need to get Jamie on the put your jewelry in this bandwagon. She doesn't wear it often, but when she does, she just takes it off right next to the bed and it gets flung. I wear one necklace. I never take it off for like a month or two months and I wear it in the shower, I wear it everywhere and that's just the way it is. And I have a wedding ring and occasionally I throw in earrings. How much are we gonna charge for this? Oh, four bucks, I maybe eight or nine. It's yeah. not like a high dollar volume. So why do you think I bought this? I think you bought this cause you want to put a transfer on it. <gasps> How did you know that? I live with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I did. So I love white Crocs because people can put them next to their kitchen. And I will take the IOD makes their, um, is it Croc, the classic label? or Crockery. Croc no, that's the stamp. What's the name of oh. the, the po classic pots? Maybe. Caitlin, what's the name of that one? It's like, the transfer's like this big. Anyways, it has labels on it and I use them on those and then I just seal it with the liquid patina so it can be wipeable and then people will buy them and put them next to their stove and put all their wooden spoons in them. Here's the and problem. I'll sell it for like 20 bucks. Here's the problem. I look I at... Those itches. We'll get that scratch. Well, I don't want to touch it with my hands. I'm glad I'm I could be here for you with my sleep. I'm trying not to touch my face. <laughs> So the problem with knowing all the product names is we carry like 300 or 400 individual products on the website, maybe more. Oh no, because we have the two websites. We probably have a thousand products easy. And like, I'll look at the name once when I'm taking the package off and then I never see it again. I'm like, oh, I like that one. Let's open I that one. Ivana says she's been buying fancy ashtrays. We actually have a couple fancy ashtrays up on the website. Nobody bought them yet, but they're really cute. I do love them for jewelry. This is like a fun little waste basket. It looks like someone's been using it for lint by the laundry. It's not a waste basket. You think it was a lint basket? It looks like that. I was just going to put a plant in it, like a fake plant. Oh, that would be cool too. Yeah, I like, I just like baskets. I'll hose the lint out time. with the air and then it won't have any lint anymore. I've been known to put them in the dishwasher without the heat cycle on them. You know, if you want to age a basket real quick, just put it in the dishwasher. Throw it in the dishwasher. Two forty nine, it'll sell for like If it has paint on it, don't do it because it'll get chippy paint all over your dishwasher. Yeah, no, don't, don't put one in there that's been painted. Classic pots! Lisa said hers just came uh, yesterday. Thank you, Lisa. I couldn't pass on this little uh, eight by 10 frame. It was $2.99, pretty plain frame, but I think it'll be really paint, cool painted up. It's got fun little scallop design on it and it's really sturdy, I like that. Zeph's always looking, cause we do eight by 10 printables for our business, not our business, sorry, our membership group on YouTube and you get two printables a month with your $5 membership. So he's always looking for frames like this. So that way when he comes up with a new printable, he can put it in the frame. That's yeah. what I thought when I saw well, it. Well, and that is correct. Like, like I got this frame and the next printable will probably be something that'll look good in this one because that's how I work. All your printables look good. All right, Debbie's on here in the house. Hey, Debbie. Debbie and I, I sent her a picture today and I'm like, Debbie, I'm gonna cry. I got to go to the thrift store, I'm so happy. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done talking about crying for the eighth time tonight, because I'm so excited, tell them about the globe. So Jamie spied this globe and snatched it up. We are gonna paint it and probably do a cool transfer on it. It's got a couple holes in it. Someone, someone decided Someone's that they wanted to outline it. China and Thanks, then they Debbie. circled this, this uh, 
I don't know. What, I can't see it. Madagascar it's or something? No, Madagascar is over here. And they here. colored in Texas is purple. Also circled. Texas got colored in. And uh, what's that? Canada? Yeah. Canada got a hole poked through it. It looks like someone almost, like there's another hole down here. It's like some kid was throwing something at so it. So we'll fix the holes with a little uh, like Fondo or like paper mache. And then we will not feel guilty at all for painting and putting a transfer on this because it's uh, ruined. So. But the frame, the base is really good. What do you think this is made of? Looks it's like just it's just metal, metal that's painted like a goldish color. It's like a school grade globe. Yeah, it it's of nice. Something we would would have had like in elementary school. Yep. So paint it up with a transfer. We'll probably sell for about thirty dollars. It won't take a whole transfer, I don't think, because transfers by themselves are like three dollars. So if we wind up using a whole transfer, then it'll be like forty or fifty. But Idaho also got. Idaho also got uh, like traced. The oh, China got traced. Yeah, I don't know. Some weird stuff's happening on this map. <laughs> Some kid got a hold of it. All right, if you're just tuning in, don't worry. We got more stuff to show. Oh, Carolyn says, I must have missed it. Did you cry? I I wanted to cry because I'm so happy to be in a thrift store. I know, I'm weird. But you know when you love something so much and you haven't done it for weeks and weeks and you finally get to do it? It was like... Oh, I'm so happy to be the here. The clasps on this trunk and the latch are functional. That's what I always test. Always it's got test a little water in the corners. Oh, Debbie wants to see my shirt. Is it a top or a dress? So it looks like it's a wrap, but it doesn't unwrap, which I love because if it unwraps, then it's like, and it's just a top, and it's got a cotton back. Ta-da! All right. What year is the globe, Zeb? Do you know? Does it say? I'll look. I didn't look. I'll check it, but show them, tell me about your 1995 She says trunk. that I should switch the ashtray, Ivana says, to the jewelry holder because nobody smokes anymore. I'll try it and see if people buy it. Okay, so this trunk was $20. I will sell it for between $60 and $80 once I paint it up and put a transfer on it. Probably closer to $80 because I think it'll take a lot of transfers. But I love these kind of trunks because if you use the ephemera, am I saying that right? The ephemera. Yes, you did it, it looks kind of like labeling. So I love to put like a big floral pattern on here with the ephemera. So it looks like a bunch of like almost stamps on it. And they sell really, really fast. So I'm super excited about that. Where is my shop? So my shop is in Lehigh, Utah. Or we have two websites. There's jamierayvintage.com. That's where you get all the amazing paint. Uh, DIY paint, IOD, RJ, RV stencils, a million and one DIY products. And then there's jamierayvintagehome.com where we sell our clothes, our thrifted finds, and our home decor. So there you have it. All right, if the globe says USSR, it was made before 1982. I think it was definitely made before 1982. What do you think, Seb? It okay. says Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. That's what USSR is. Yeah. So it was made before 1982, which ironically is where I was born. That's when not I was where born. you were born. Where, where I was born. born. Sorry, when I was born. 1982. It's been a long day. Someone also used highlighter on the Caspian Sea. Why <laughs> would somebody use highlighter on that? All right, so we're going to move this, this big trunk. I actually am sold out of trunks at the shop, so I'm super excited to find this. They're great to decorate and then, like, stack stuff on at the shop. The thing I love about Sabres, <laughs> Debbie says back in the USSR, the thing I love about Sabres is that their furniture is cheap. So this is a, a wood chair. It's got a really fun seat on it, a nice black paint job, which I love because when you paint over it, you can distress it and it shows good. And it was $4.99. And the minimum I sell chairs for at the shop is $30. And this is probably in the $30 range because it's a little bit smaller stature. Perfect size for a desk, actually. People are always looking for narrow chairs for desks. And I would say this is probably not more than about 17, 18 inches wide. And I like that it has like a, the bent wood on the seat is really cool. So between 30 and $40 for this chair. All right. Next. Next. This is like the second item I picked up today. It's got these big Mama Jamma knobs and hooks. It's got the 1995 crackle finish, which I don't love, but I do love to paint over it. And originally, do you guys know what this originally cost? There's a tag on the back. $55.99. In my shop, it'll probably sell for about 40-ish dollars, and it was $6.99 at the Sabres. So. Uh, I have another shelf. It's been a minute it since, we've, since we found one of these. Oh, yeah. I actually just sold. So a few weeks ago, we had the one with the um, Fleur de Lis on it, and a, one of our followers came to the shop and asked for it, and Lauren was like, I have never seen that, but it's because I hadn't painted it yet, and he wanted it, so I was like, I'll sell it to you, not paint it. So 
Now we've got another one, which is good. It's got a wood, wood top. It's got the tin on the bottom. So this is perfect to paint and then wax in distress because it looks really good. Originally 30 bucks at Hobby Lobby. We paid $6.49. We'll sell it for $25 from the shop. And it has hanging hardware. So that's always good. All right, what are people saying? Oh, Caitlin says we have two shipping teams. We do. Sometimes they're shipping at the same time. So a lot of times I just find paintings and get them for their frames. This one has a gold frame on it. It was $5.99. We love the barn. I like the barn a lot, but I want to bring it out of the 80s. I'm going to paint this frame. We're going to do that right now. This is the last thing, and I'm going to paint that, the frame. Did we make it through everything already? Yep, that's everything. What do you All mean right. already? We got like five minutes left. All right. Well, you, can't be, you only got five minutes. Actually, we got 10 minutes left, but we were late as usual. As per, well, you know, we try to be on time. So we were I'm 30 gonna... minutes late for our live on Thursday. Oh, just so you guys know, our, we decided that we on Thursdays, the stay-at-home shopping network that we normally do at 4 o'clock is now going to be moved to Facebook. So that way we can have our regular Thursday edited video come back because YouTube doesn't like that we do so many live videos and our numbers have went down so we've decided to move, not give it up we're going to move that video to facebook and then on thursday you'll get an edited video from us and if people are really sad about it then maybe we'll edit that facebook live down to like a condensed version and we'll upload that for you guys so that way you guys still get that so one of the things um someone kept asking they're like oh no don't go to just facebook i think they misinterpreted it to that we were moving all the videos no, to facebook. just the stay at home shopping network is going to be moved to facebook on thursdays and that means that if you watch that on facebook then you get an extra edited video because we'll put an edited video up on the channel it's just you can't do a live and an edited video on the same day on youtube because it messes with the algorithm i mean you could but our numbers aren't the type that can handle that. We're not that channel. Yeah, no. Carolyn, if you don't have Facebook, find a neighbor. Or we'll try to maybe every once in a while edit those down for you. So that way you can get an edited stay-at-home shopping network. We'll, make, we'll take care of you. All right, so. Can um, you really quickly, I don't know if you can sneak around me here while I'm doing this, go find some maybe vintage linen or something to put on Oh, this. do you want me to get you paint? Yeah, okay. I was thinking of white so that we can really brighten it up. Oh, the... Sam, you didn't show them everything. What did this I... is the most exciting thing, and it's sitting oh, right here. I did have one thing. So stay tuned. Once we're done painting this, I will show you it the last thing. It should have been at least $20, thing. but the lady was really sweet, and she gave it to us for $1.99. It wasn't priced, and she gave it to us for $1.99. So hang tight. I know we're coming up on the end here. We'll show you the last thrifted item that was the best score of the day and will make up for me way overpaying for a tote. <laughs> All right. This has a lot of staples in it. It's taking me a fat minute to get these out of here. A fat minute as opposed to like a skinny minute? Yep, no skinny minutes here. We only have fat ones. Skinny minute, skinny minute. All right, I'm gonna switch by you. I've been hanging out with Harrington too much. That's probably why Does I said that. you say fat minute? All the kids do. Oh, it's like the new slang? Well, it used to be a hot minute, and now it's oh. a fat minute. Well, it's because we've all been in quarantine and quarantine cookies. Well, Harrington and I have been working at the house like crazy, building and putting up all the heavy beams for the next story to go on top of. How much is the picture? This picture will probably be about $65 when we're done with it. Yeah, we're going to... It's a it's print, big. it's a print, but it's really big, and the frame's going to be cool once we're done. Like, the frame I would probably sell for, like, 25 or 30 just because of the size of it by itself. I'm just going to paint this in weathered wood and white wax it, which is my like favorite combo. It's obviously everybody else's favorite combo because we keep selling the tar out of weathered wood. If Debbie, if you're seeing a run on, on weathered wood at the warehouse, it's because I use it a lot. All right, I'm trying to get this out of here without scratching it. It's got like these wire. And sometimes if you get a print and it has a few scratches, you can touch it up with like colored pencil or paint. We've totally touched up paints before. All right, got it out. We're okay. But, so it's a little oh, on Michelle the... says she wants it. Michelle, if you want to email Caitlin, info at jamierayvintagehome.com, tell her it's 65, and she will get you shipping information. Did She's you, really good at that. Did you score me a brush? Um, oh, I didn't. Sorry. You got me the beadboard. <laughs> I got you the paint, but I didn't get you a brush. 
But Caitlin does not respond to emails on Sunday. So if you don't get a response until Monday, don't be worried. She will get back to you. We just don't work on Sunday. It's our day off across the board. You know, I used to be like, oh, I don't, I, I, get, I don't need that Sunday off all oh, the time. I need my, Sunday off. I'm not tired. I'm like restless because I've just been hanging out. But now I'm like, after six days of working between the farmhouse and the shop, Sundays are glorious, and tomorrow's going to be good because it's, we don't have to go. Well, I shouldn't say we don't have to go to church. There is no church because we're still home churching. So we'll home church. I will have breakfast in bed, and I will take a nap. It's Mother's Day. The kids usually rub my feet. I'm not one to have things bought for me because I spend too much money as it is. So my kids are really good to cut me flowers and breakfast in bed, paint me pictures. That's all I want. We're going to make crepes. Sorry. And with the new home, with the new clothing website, I don't need any new clothes. I'm going to need a bigger closet. I make crepes. So like if there was a competition show for just crepes, I could probably get like third or, or fourth. I think you could get second and a half. Second and a half. All yeah. right. Your crepes are good. Oh, thank you, Amy. Happy Mother's Day to you. Amy Mitchell is a bomb mom. She's got some good kids. Um, Carolyn says... Uh, crepes yum and Anna says I have to go back to work Monday bummer I got organized and Debbie says welcome to my world oh she's talking about the clothes yeah I didn't used to have a lot of clothes but I have to try all the clothes out so I can see like how well they last how do they feel because I after I wear them I'll usually go back on take a picture and put my opinion of them on there all right I'm gonna move up front close to you guys here so it's really it's not hoarding it's market research Debbie that's our new word when we buy new clothes for our websites. When we buy, when we wear them, it's market research. It's work. Somebody's got to do it. Well, and I would hope you're buying things that you want to wear. And Debbie says, yep, got it. Absolutely. Yeah, I only buy things I like. Um, Indy says, happy Mother's Day. And then Rosie says, weathered wood, dry brush with vintage linen, distressed back, then white wax makes an amazing driftwood effect. I love that. Heidi says, I bought myself flowers for tomorrow. Put them in my cute hobnob veil. Uh, base I found out at DI. I actually normally cut my own flowers from the neighbor's bush, but the farmhouse has some amazing um, lilac and what are the white ones called? Hyacinth? Heidi was here at the shop Saturday and Odelia was on the back porch painting and her son recognized her. She's got a little boy. Oh, really? And it made Odelia's day. He's like, hi Odelia. She's Aww. like, what? I, Odelia is so cute. Odelia and Eliza help out at the it, shop a lot. It made her day that she got recognized. I think that the boys <laughs> like the shop, but they like the farmhouse better because they like to climb the trees. And Redrick is pretty happy to be chopping down those those bushes that are way overgrown oh, the back yeah. side of the yard. All right, I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to turn the heat gun on for just a sec so I can get this dry enough to put this back in here. I was going to use the heat gun on mine. And kind of show you what... The okay, white I'm has sure. done to change the, the tone of that picture, that painting. Sorry, um, if I bang the camera, it's because I'm down here getting the heat gun. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm just picking up any, like, drips I might have. The nice thing is this was already dark before, so when you're done with that, when you move it over and then hand it to me because I want to white wax this. Well, we need to wipe this thing off. I'm going to get paint dust in my... Yeah, I think we need to flex. stand down our project table. We might, it might be time to resurface this project table. You can tell me you want to it. Who wants to buy it as art? I'm going to build a new table eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll just, I, we'll just sell the top, you know? If I had it's it. got glue and gross stuff, and it's textured, man. Oh, man! My charger is going to leave a... All right, it's okay. Um, if I had a dollar for every time you said when the farmhouse is finished... Yep, I everything's, think, everything's waiting on that. I don't know that it's ever going to be all the way done. It's probably going to be something done. I'm going to read comments while you do that, and then, oh gosh. Watch your arm. I'm coming around. i got to come over there. Okay, You're going to get on. paint don't on your, my wax. Your project's hanging over the edge of the table there. You're going to get I'm paint not, on I there. don't have any paint on Hey, there. would you stop getting close to my heat gun? Just hold oh, still for a minute. Your brain got paint on me. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm done. My brain? It's a long way away from you. No, it's hanging over the edge. 
All right, so this is only one coat. I'll probably do another one because it's not quite enough. And we'll wet distress the gold back through. But I wanted to show you what it looks like and what just changing the color of the frame is like my favorite thrift store hack. It looks like I'm lactating. You can't even tell on that shirt. That shirt's super busy. It's not that busy. Well, you didn't, you should have just left it. <laughs> it's fine. I got it. Sorry. All right. Scoochie. I needed that. I can't show them this white wax on here if you don't give me the heat gun. Oh, sorry. Hang on. I don't know if it'll reach. I have it plugged into the floor. Oh. Don't. Can you just hand Don't it bump to me? that. You'll scratch it. The staples are up on it. I won't. Can you pass me the heat gun under the table? Here, I'll pass you the whole thing. You can plug it into your Oh, uh, into my cord. extension cord? Yep. Okay. Sorry guys, little technical situation. Did you lose comments? Where'd they go? Um, I said that? don't move that. What? Well, don't burn you with that. I have to send it somewhere. I'm not going to burn you. <laughs> I don't know. Where did my phone go? I didn't dig it. Is it over there somewhere? I may have set it down when I went to go wipe my shirt. I don't know what people are saying. I'll go find it and then we'll do the grand reveal. And then we'll show them the dollar ninety nine item that should have been twenty dollars. Yep. Okay. This weird Maybe thing right here. Maybe it's underneath the picture. No. I don't think it's under the picture. Where did I put that? I think I set it over there somewhere. Is it in the bathroom? I'll go look. Okay. Oh, mind me, I'm just over here blow drying furniture. We don't recommend using a heat gun. It will make your paint crackle. I don't mind crackle, but you gotta be careful you don't leave it somewhere too long because it could burn your piece. Ask me how I know. I swear I just had it. Oh, yeah. Did you knock it down over there somewhere? Hey, focus on what you're doing. I feel like it's underneath here. Focus on what I'm doing. I'm focused. With the heat gun. I've got it. I'm constantly moving it. I haven't caused anything to bubble. All right. I bet I could find it, but I, I gotta finish this. You sure it's not in the bathroom? Unless you threw it in the trash can. Oh. I'll just show them. It'll be okay. All right, that is looking much better. We'll distress it a little bit so it doesn't look so stark in contrast. Maybe a little dark wax, I think. I've been digging the dark wax lately. It's weird, I know. I never used to use it before. All right, I'm almost done here. You can show them the dollar ninety nine item. I will. I'll show them the dollar ninety nine item. I'm do not we have a, Do we have a damp rag that I can wet distress this with? Nope. Oh, there's a rag on the floor right there. I got water in my McDonald's cup. I'll make it do. I seriously don't know where I put my phone. We'll have to wait and I'll call it, call it when we're done. I will find it before we are not live anymore. Caitlin's on there, so I'm sure she's out answering questions. All right, Zeb's showing you the dollar ninety-nine item. So this little end table slash nightstand wasn't priced and it was a dollar ninety nine. Two dollar. We'll sell it for like forty five dollar. Needs a little 50. little bit of repair. The drawers slide way too far back. So it needs some stops put on there. These handles are obviously not original. They're they're probably out of the seventies or eighties, maybe sixties if we're lucky. And this one's missing its pull anyway, so but look at the detail on that wood. We're gonna paint it. <laughs> look at the detail. We're gonna cover it up with paint. That's sacrilege, Deb. Nope. Just kidding. All right, I think. More is growing in the forest, I guarantee it. More, more wood's growing. growing. And they'll make more wood furniture. It's okay because you can always wet distress. You can always distress <laughs> furniture or you can take the paint off. It's the protective sealant. I always tell people, like, when it needs to be refinished and I paint it, you can still refinish it when you buy it. Nobody is stopping you. 
I just don't want to refinish it. I would say this was probably built in the 40s. It's got screws in the back of it, just uh, slotted screws, but it's got a, it's been refinished before too. It's got some drippies on the side. I'm just using water and a lint-free rag that's kind of dirty from a previous distress job to bring back some of the detail. It's not going to be super contrasty because it was dark before and I put dark paint on it. But what I'm going to do, see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to white wax it and then all the detail will come out. All right, white well, wax is like crack. Like, look at this. Don't you love when thrift stores put this price tag oh, right on the print? You think you can get that off without ruining Or the it? mirror? Yeah, it's, it's pretty shiny. I always like to distress, like, when there's any, like, no knobby details. Got it. It's off. All right, I'm going to use the heat gun one more time to dry off the wet distress. You get it dry, and you get it wet, and you get it dry again. It's a lot of processes here. There you go. You can kind of see that pretty good. All right. I still don't know where my phone is. I think this would have looked good with Apothecary, too. It might have pulled some of the greens and the blues out of the background on this. I need one of those things that's like a chip that you clap and then your phone beeps. Because my phone is always on silent. So I never know where it's at. I feel like you took it out of here when you went. I feel like I took it out. Oh, the, the wax is melting. That's classic because it's still hot. All right, I'm going to white wax this. And then I need a lint-free rag. So would you just bring me some paper towels from the bathroom? I don't recommend paper towels. See, I'm just white waxing them. But it's what we got. Literally, this took us me like five minutes to do. All right. Maybe, maybe eight, maybe eight minutes. I always wipe the white wax off right away and you don't necessarily need to clear wax it over top of it because it's got a sealing property in it. But I like to wipe it off because otherwise you can't, you can't get it off. I'm gonna smear it around and then choose a direction. You gotta choose a direction otherwise it's gonna look weird. There is like one little scrape on it right there in the corner. I might so, hit that with a, just a touch of paint. See if I, I can... will, this is weathered wood and white wax match made in heaven. I will do that to the entire piece and then this will sell for about $25 at our store. These always sell really, really fast. So anytime you thrift these tin shelves, think paint and a contrasting wax. So I sometimes do farm fresh and a white wax or sometimes I will do like a white, like a white swan and then I clear wax it and dark wax it. That way you get that contrast and see all the beautiful tin, which was completely hidden before by the ugly paint job from the Hobby Lobby. So we'll probably finish this up and I'll have Jamie put a fun picture on Instagram or uh, check, you can also check out community here on YouTube. Yeah, we'll usually Monday I'll post. In there. I, did you know that YouTube has stories? I post pictures in YouTube on stories all the time. So if you go to January Vintage and you go to the stories, usually Monday I'll put like all the finished pictures. So we'll get this done in there. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com if you need some DIY paint and wax. And then you can also hit up jamierayvintagehome.com if you need home decor or you're going to need some clothes or whatever. A lot of these, a lot of these products are going to make it there. Yeah, these will want to make it there. And then we will see you guys next week. Make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. DIY. Woo woo. Thanks for joining us. We had a good time, guys. Love you. Oh, my face is dirty. I've you, been working. You had a hard day. You've had, you've had that dirty face. Like, that's how we went to the thrift store. That's how it goes. Yeah, it's all right.